What's up, everybody? Live right now. Getting ready to go play. Let me turn down my volume. Let's see. Boom. Let me get the comments pulled up. Make sure the volume sounds good. Testing, testing, testing. That's what kind of sound? Not bad, not bad. A little tiny bit of lag. But, definitely here. So, got a nice big picture. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? I'm going to put this up here so I can see the comments. And I'm getting ready to go play. Brandon, good morning, big dog. I'm getting ready to go play some indoor. Mainly going to go and uh, hang out with my buddy Cameron and do some, maybe some tech work. And uh, play a few rounds. Can't wait to go do some airsoft. I still got Gator in there sleeping, so... I gotta go wake him up. We're gonna try to be there around. Huh, my watch is dead. I gotta go charge it. What time is it? Yeah, I still got time. We're gonna try to be around 11. But, as you can see, I got my tracers charged. Got my GoPros charging. Got that one charging, that one charging. I got my spare GoPro charging. Now I gotta get all my mags. I cannot stand having to wind mags. And, um,. I got this ready last night to take. So, let me move this over so I can see. I got this ready last night. Got it all pimped out, ready to go. Got a lot of battery space in here. Check this out. Which we don't use a battery in this one. This is a Polar Star, but it's got so much space. If I can get it to open. I got no fingernails. Check out all that battery space. Pretty cool. Hey, hey what's up, K Tech? K Tech, Silent Gaming. He's cool, man. This this young man, he's 15. He makes all of my um, thumbnails. Well, he helps me with a lot of thumbnails. He made my website. Go to Google or Safari, type in jjmore.ga, and you'll see my website. Um, so, we got one ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start packing it all up. I'm going to turn this camera back where y'all could actually see what I'm doing here. So, we're going to put this bad boy in here. That's the ARP-9. What's up, Matt? I see you. <laughs> you working today? So I got the ARP-9 ready. That's going to be for Gator. And then, let me just turn it like this to where maybe y'all could see back here. I don't know how that's going to work. If y'all could see that good. Heck, maybe do like this. Yeah, that's the wrong angle. That is not working very well. Why did the camera flip? Oh, I see. I hit the button. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, so here we go. I was trying to make it where y'all can see what I'm doing back here. But that's not going to work out as planned, so we're just going to put this back. I got to still work on these camera angles. We'll just work right here for now. So we got the ARP-9. It's loaded up. I'll just lay it to the side and then we'll go from there. My Cobalt Kinetics is tore down right now, so I can't use it. But I will definitely be taking this bad boy. My Honey Badger. I actually need to take and... Sorry, y'all. I got a booger. It's bothering me. <laughs> Let me find a uh, 12 o'clock. Yeah, you better get it before 12 so you can get that uh, discount. I'm going to plug in this charger so I can make sure my Polar Star, the FCU battery, is good to go. So, I'm going to take the Honey Badger 2 with the ARP9 upper. I'm going to take it, and um, so I'm just going to take and try to sneak out the plug instead of taking the whole battery out like this. And go ahead and plug it in and let it charge while it's in the grip. 
There we go. Keep charging. Just a little twin cell. So I got all my devices charged. Got the GoPro ready. Got this one for you guys to get some gameplay. Um, I got it mounted. I got the mounts on everything. I actually need to find the case for this one. I gotta find the case for that one. And then let's see here. Gator's Gator's going to play with me. Got to get this one right here put on. This is gonna be probably the one that Gator uses. So this is my little session that I use, a little GoPro session. It works really good. Capture some easy footage. Yeah, definitely don't need the lens being shot. <laughs> not on this not on this GoPro. This is the eight, the new eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and I actually could take this GoPro if if I wasn't worried about the lens getting shot and just flip these down and install it right to the mask. But I gotta find my my protector for that one somewhere that's funny I don't know where it is let me grab my backpack here put all my GoPro stuff in it this is all my media stuff got bolts and all kind of different stuff to protect the GoPros and everything what's up Grant um, I'm just doing a video on um, getting ready to go play yeah I think I'm gonna have to do some modifying on this bolt I if you could see this bolt I ground all the the uh, nubs off of it because it actually hits the side of the mask here and it makes the GoPro lean so y'all might get to see firsthand little modification right here because I haven't modified this one yet what, I, what I'm going to do is take this hammer right here and just go knock that bolt out and we'll just take that plastic piece off and we'll just run straight bolt if it'll work that way so the bolt's going to be longer now so what we'll do is cut we'll cut about that much off the bolt. So I'm gonna put it in a vise over here. I'll show you guys some cutting. Y'all get to see me cut it right here. So what I'll do is use a. Oh yeah, I gotta get make sure I got my barrel covers. I can't wait to uh, actually go play and go live. I, I'm gonna actually go live from the arena today again. As long as their Wi-Fi is working again, so um, y'all look out for that. Y'all watch out for me to go live after a while. I'm gonna try to get there about 11. So it's gonna get loud for a second because I'm about to plug in my cutoff wheel and show you guys a little mod. I'm trying to go tomorrow, Matt. Um, I don't know what I have going on, but. Here we go. It's going to get loud, y'all. Let me make sure I got the right length here. So we're going to want to cut it to where it's about right there. Let's move this out of the way. It's going to be a little bit hot, but not unbearable. So, shorten it up. Gator's up now. No, he's sleeping. I can't get him up. 
trying to get him to wake up right now. He's a little lazy butt. He better get up. If, if that saw didn't wake him up, something will. Actually, his room's real far away, Brandon, so he didn't hear that. I guarantee you. I just walked in there a minute ago. He was there with mouth wide open. Uh, like that. So, I told my wife if he ain't up by 11, I'm dumping the cold water on him. <laughs> Y'all want me to? Y'all want me to? Y'all want to see this? Nah, I might get killed if I take this in there and show it to him. Sorry, y'all. I forgot the camera was turned. So what I done was just put that bolt in. Now it's perfect. No more fighting with it. I've always had trouble with that hitting right here. As you can see, my mask is all beat up right there. So this GoPro ready to rock. I'm thinking, what do you think, guys? Go ahead and modify this one too while we're here. Or just leave the ugly little spacer. I mean, I can cut it off in like, what, three seconds? Okay, it was a little longer than three seconds. So we'll measure this one. It's going to be about right there. They say measure twice, cut once. I say mark it with a pin, and if you cut it too short, throw it away and start over. Yeah, I know it was going to be kind of slow this morning because of uh, being so early. Grant, when are you going to play again, buddy? So we got to find the um, left side. What is it? What is that tool next to your black tracer? This black tracer? Talking about this? Or oh yeah, that's just a sling plate. Um, I was working with Gator's gun last night, um, trying to. I actually got it figured out. I went on a uh, website and I'm 3D printing what he needs for his gun. But I'll show y'all what I made last night. So this one's ready. Other than I gotta put the case around it. I'm not, of course, I ain't gonna rock it like this and get it shot out. But, um, so, Gator's ARP-9, I put the stubby stock on it last night, and it has this weird space here. So, when you tighten, there's a long bolt that goes through here. When you tighten it up, it makes the stubby stock do this, and it makes it real flimsy. Right now, it's real strong, but I just took some, um, you know the little dividers that go in the little clear things that... You put like nuts and bolts in. I just took the divider and I cut it and just put it in here and I took an X-Acto knife and just cut it smooth. But I found a 3D print file from my buddy Cameron from um, Battalion and we're gonna print our own. So I got that and I got the 3D print file for these y'all. The drop stocks. It's drop stocks. So as you know, the drop stock goes in here and then it drops this down. So when you got your dye mask on, everything here is not hitting your mask. In my hater package from here. Oh yeah, that's a sling plate. Um, that's what I was. That's the whole moral of the story. So this sling plate typically would go in here first, and then the stock or the uh, buffer tube would go on. So the sling plate is just where your um, your strap would hook. I'll show you a gun with a sling plate on it. This is the giveaway gun for the watch hours. Ah, it don't have a sling plate. It just has a spacer. Hold on. Here you go, my Avalon. My Avalon has a sling plate. See it? So there's your sling plate. It's just a spacer, and then you hook your sling to it, you know, to go around you. Keep it, keep it, Brandon, save it. So, that's what I was trying to do, is I was gonna take this yesterday, 
modify it to fit in there as a spacer. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all help me pick what gun to take. This one's ready. That's right. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Where's my cap? Oh well. We're gonna run without it. So I got that ARP9. I got this guy ready. Um, I need. Oh, the tracer adapter is already on here. So we'll go ahead and throw the tracer on here for Gator, and he'll be ready to ride. So. I'm going to let y'all pick what guns do y'all want me to take today because it's going to be gameplay for you guys to watch. So I'm taking the Honey Badger here with this tracer. I'm taking the ARP9 and I'm also going to take some pistols. So I'm going to lay out the pistols and y'all tell me what y'all would like to see in some gameplay. So we have the rose gold. Definitely have it. I could take. We'll take all this mess out of here. I only have one mag for it, but it'd be sweet to take and run a few games with. Take the Avalon. <laughs> What's up? Nothing gets fixed. That's my buddy right there, y'all. Um, he's got a. He's got some good deals on some guns. If anybody's needing any sweet guns, hit me up. He has a Crytek take the Avalon. Actually, I loaned this out yesterday, and my boy Kenneth, um, he took it and actually played with it at Battalion yesterday with it. With the Kythera. Only thing I did was I took the scope off, and he, he ran it without the scope. So, yeah, we'll take the Avalon. Y'all want to see some gameplay with this? Y'all want to see some gameplay with the Kythera? With an outdoor build? I'll do it. Alright, so. What's up, Razor? So, I'm going to go ahead and slap the um, tracer on. And um, that way it'll be ready. So y'all want to see? All right, nothing gets fixed. This is for you, my brother. So we got the Avalon. It's gonna have to go in its own. All right, so the Avalon's gonna go in its own package. I actually have. I actually have a case. Sorry, y'all. I'm back. It's gonna be a lot of room up here. A lot of no room. Let me turn the camera back a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing here. So this is the Avalon's case. As you can see I got four mags for it. They're all mid caps. And I want to take a speed loader to load these with. Somewhere. Here it is right here. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. So... Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got some sweet Glocks, too. I forgot to mention that. Um, anybody who's looking for any nice, basically new condition guns, hit me up, and I'll put you in contact with my boy here. Nothing gets fixed. That's not his name, but we're not going to put his name out all over the Internet unless you're serious and you want to buy from him. But, um, so, Avalon, this is for you, bro. I'm going to play. I'll do some gameplay with that today. Now i got to get couple regs and tanks out because it's just me and my son but we always need a backup so we'll take all three of these because I hate swapping over tanks what well, what I usually do <laughs> is um, go ahead and let me turn it this way where y'all can see what we got So, what I usually do is take this, drop it in here, and just be done with it. It's ready to rock. Then we're going to grab all these hoses. Got to have a hose. Go ahead and put the hoses on. <laughs> Go ahead and put the hoses on here. I always try to get ready. 
That way, whenever I get there, all I gotta do is throw my vest on and ride because a lot of times people like to talk. Whenever I get there, they want to talk, talk, talk for a while, and I don't get to play. I'll usually miss the games talking. So this vest, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my bag. I'll show y'all in a minute what kind of bag I use. So, some gloves will go in the bag. I'll give you a quick shot of it. Low battery. Phone's not charging like it should. Let me swap the view and I'll show you. Whoop. There we go. There's my gear bag right there. It's a giant roll gear bag. It's made by, um, who's it made by? I forget. NXE. It's a paintball gear bag. Sorry for all the movement. I'm trying to get everything done. This is what Gator uses. This is my son Gator's tank setup. So we'll go ahead and get him ready. Because when I wake him up, I'm going to cold water his behind. And I'm going to get on up out of here. So... I gotta put this in his vest, but I'll do it after we get off of here. So that's ready. So we got one tank, two tank. This will be number three tank. This is just a backup, guys. Alright, so we got our tanks ready. This is Gator's drum mag for his gun. And y'all know I use M4 in my honey badger, so want to make sure I got plenty of mags for me. We'll break out my mags. I keep mags. I keep my mags in these little things right here. Uh, got way too many magazines, but you can't run really have. So these are what I use, the 300 round ones. They work the best. Which one is this? That's another 300 round one. That's a mid cap. We ain't gonna use that. We might take that with us. High cap up. We might take a high cap of the day. We got a high cap right here. Ready to rock. We may take this too. We're gonna take this high cap Mac 11 mags. I may. I think this is actually Mac 11 right here. I have to look it up and see. I think this is. These are all ARP9. These are all high kappa, which are my uh, HPA ones, which I'm going to take two of those. Heck, I'll just take all these. So we'll take everything I'm not going to use out. How about that? That'll be easier. So we'll put all the high kappa mags, all the M4 mags, and I'm going to take this high kappa. I'll give you guys an idea of what it'll look like. So when y'all see the video, you'll see. This ain't even half the mags I have. Man, I, I just have a thing with collecting stuff. I need it. It's a bad habit to have. So, let me look in here. Okay, that's ready to go. I think I got mags in here. Yep. I'll take this mag. Okay. So, I think we got enough mags now. So we got all them four mags we need. So I got all my mags. Gator uses a drum mag. He uses the same mag all day. So it's no need in worrying about getting him a bunch of mags. Back whenever I uh, did the ARP9, I done that too. So so we got mags. We're loaded with mags. <laughs> Heavy, but yeah, we got them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I hope this isn't boring, y'all. High cap down. That was a high cap of hitting the floor. So, in here, we got mine and Gators ready to go. As y'all can see, I don't mind scratching the guns. I don't care when it's my own. It's because I, I feel like if you don't scratch it, you're not playing hard enough. 
So we're going to take this right here, strap them down so they don't roll around too much. And let me find his drum mag. So I forget that. He will kick my butt. And zip it up. And those are ready to go. So we got the Avalon. We got the Honey Badger with the uh, ARP9 upper. We got both masks with the GoPros. So me and Gator can get you guys some good footage. Ready to rock. What is up, Mikey Gates? Thank you for joining, man. Just getting ready to go play and uh, just kind of letting everybody hang with me while I pack up so I can try to get some watch hours to do this giveaway so one of y'all can get a sweet M4. We're really close, y'all. I woke up this morning and we have, um, let me see how many hours we have. Uh, it's on my phone. Anyways, we have like 300 hours to go basically yeah we got like 300 watch hours to go somehow last night a lot of videos got watched like 25 hours of footage got watched last night so great job y'all thank you guys thank you for joining Mikey but we got so we got the ARP 9 with a drum mag excuse me we got the honey badger the GNG honey badger what's up John Bailey how you doing buddy with the um, with just regular 300 round mags. Jared Lloyd, hey buddy. Tell Justin I'm going to play, I'll be there at 11. Um, there's a lot of people coming today too. And I got the file to print these, by the way. I can't remember who was looking for a uh, drop stock, but I got the file now. Thanks to my boy, shout out Cameron. Um, what else do I need to take, y'all? Take this high kappa. I got enough room for a couple more. Of course, I can't take every gun. But I'm definitely taking this for the high cappers. There's another M4 mag with... Eh, that's not a good one. I hate winding, but we'll take it. Yes, I am, John Bailey. I'm getting all ready right now. I was just showing the other people in here, all my friends. I got the GoPro set up, ready to go, charged. And, um... I may even do some live. I'm gonna try to, I'm, I, I'm gonna honestly try, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try to mount my spare phone somehow in my vest, go live on my YouTube channel and try to run while I'm doing it. If you guys, it might make y'all sick, but I'll give it a shot if y'all wanna try. If y'all are down, I'm down. So, high cappers, okay. We're back to the high cappers. I'm gonna load these high cappers in here. Prime airsoft adapter. If I could squeeze them in there, I would be done something. Yeah, I doubt I'm gonna get them both in there. Yeah, good luck with that, huh? Not gonna work, is it? Um, next weekend, next weekend, I have Josh Stewart from on here. I have Josh Clifford. And I have Shane Sko coming up from Tampa area, Winter Haven, to do indoor CQB with me on Saturday. Um, that will be live. Also, I'm not going to catch it all, but there's going to be live um, gameplay today from the Netherlands on SpeedQB's website. So y'all look out for that. Um, I met a couple of those guys yesterday. These guns ain't going to fit in here. So we're going to throw that in there. I met a couple of those guys yesterday and um, follow on their Instagram. Anyways, y'all look out for that. We'll keep that short. So, oh, if y'all if y'all haven't subscribed to my Instagram, go check it out. It's um, airsoft underscore 400 FPS underscore JJ Moore. I don't know what time they're on, Brandon. Um, when I get a notification, I actually followed the page. I'll 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 share it in the group, and that way we'll all have it. Um, I really don't know what time they're on. I know they're on a different time zone than us, so there's no telling. But, um, I'm also trying to come up with some ideas to create some kind of revenue in this airsoft thing that I'm doing. Because I want to do more giveaways. Like, 
I'm doing the giveaways and all, and I give stuff away all the time, but it's like they're spread out, you know, and I want to do it. I want to do it all the time. I want to be just giving something away all the time. So if y'all have any ideas of how I can create some kind of revenue, hit me up and let me know. I forgot to put that speed loader in there. Even buying guns, like at a good deal, broken, I thought about buying something. What is up? There he is right there. There's Shane. How you doing, buddy? I was just telling him how you and Josh Stewart and uh, Josh Clifford are coming up to play next weekend. I'm getting ready to go to battalion today. So... I can go sweat my butt off, but yeah, me and Gator's gonna go up there. I'm actually gonna go help out my buddy Cameron do some teching, but I'm also gonna play a few rounds. And let's see here, we got everything charged. We got all of our, I'm gonna take this y'all because Gator loves this right here. Gator, yes, Gator will be playing next weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna take these right here too because Gator loves being the loudest person in the arena. Don't ask me why, but he does. Let me show y'all what this would look like. Watch this, guys. Guys and girls, watch this. If it'll even cock back, I don't know if it will or not. That's funny, right? Boom, boom. Um, send me some pictures, John Bailey. Um, I'm trying to get it at a really good deal. Stuff. Not saying I want to rip anybody off or anything, but I'd rather buy stuff broken, dirt cheap that I could fix and sell to make a little profit to buy things to give away. Does that make sense? That's. I'm not trying to do it to just sell it and go buy me some expensive airsoft guns i've got all the guns that i'm that i'm probably going to stick with for a while as far as my personal guns that i play with so yes sir this amp is loud too so i'm gonna take these because gator likes the amps monster world customs that's matt he'll tell you gator loves to be loud in the arena he likes to have his gun loud he'll run an amp or anything he can to make it pop off me, I like the silencers myself. I don't like people to know where I'm coming from. I want them to be looking out. Where did that come from, you know? Them little them little quiet hits that take you out. Send me, send me a picture, John Bailey. I, I think I could swing that, buddy. Because um, I think I can make a few bucks off of it. Or either use it as a giveaway. I'm down with that, too. Yes. Monster World Custom, Matt has my, my old MP7. Um, in a minute, I'll show you guys a picture of it. Let me see here. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and switch um, the views here because I pretty much got everything loaded that I'm going to take. It will blow me up. See my ugly old head? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. But um, I'll show y'all. Now I can take my phone down. Just got to charge today. I'll show you all this MP7 that I sold him, and he absolutely loves it. I mean, this MP7 has a long, like a 1500 round drum mag, and it's HPA tapped. Let me see if I can find it real fast. Man, I'm so ready to play. I've been needing some exercise. Let's see here, MP7, where are you at? I just seen it the other day, it popped up in one of my memories. Ooh, my phone's not even charging. There it goes. I'll be on my phone. Oh yeah, the AK. Trying to find this MP7. I want y'all to see how it's set up. It is nice. I actually have a picture of it on my kitchen table. I'm one of those people that put stuff all through my house. My wife probably hates it. She doesn't ever say anything. So, but yeah, like I would build an engine in here if I if I had to. Let me find it. Let me find it. If y'all look out for this 
video. I'm going to try to do live from the arena, um, depending on their Wi-Fi signal there. Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's one picture of it. As you can see in the bottom, the uh, HPA tap right there. And it's an electric drum mag. There's another picture. It's pretty sweet. John Belly, anytime, bro. I would love that. Um, and all the boys here, they'll tell you the same. Um, Josh Stewart and all them, they don't live that far away. We could actually go to Ocala. and uh, They have Wayne's World. Yeah, that MP7 is a gas blowback. You put that um, HPA to it. You want it to shoot faster, you crank the HPA up, and it will literally ride. He said, I get nothing but compliments. Um, let's see here. I wish I can go wake up Gator right now with y'all on the on here, but I don't want to um, piss my wife off for going through the house. She's like, don't show everybody our house. You know, I can understand. She's real modest and stuff, so. So hold on one second. I'm going to grab my bag real quick. Oh. What do you guys think about taking this? I haven't got to do... Oh, crap. Did I just close myself out? I haven't got to do any gameplay with it yet, so... What you guys think? Take it? Run some gameplay with it? And today, if y'all see, like, a live session pop up, and you click on it, and it says it's expired or it's gone just wait a few minutes and it'll pop back up because I may have to log on their Wi-Fi and check the stream and it may I may jump back off and get another connection or something so yeah if you see a notification try it if it works we'll keep going with it if it don't I'm gonna keep trying something different I actually am fixing to get a mobile Wi-Fi thing so I can take it with me good times no 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 this is not a given gun this gun right here is my gun this pink one. This is mine. Not giving this one away. At least not right now. I haven't gotten any gameplay in the, with this gun anyways. So I definitely got to do some gameplay before I do anything with it. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do with this gun yet. Um, they're not real expensive, so it actually could be a giveaway gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I got you. I got you, man. Yeah, I'm. It's definitely a given. <laughs> okay. I guess I have to. I just uh. I kind of wanted to. Not really get it dirty, but whatever. I've never tried that with my phone's hotspot. What I do know is my GoPro 8. It has a live setting on it where you can go live from it. I've never tried it though. What else do we have that we can talk about while I'm getting ready? I still got plenty of time. It's 10 o'clock. They actually just opened, but I'm not, I don't never get to when they open because they make you go through a safety meeting and all that. Tell you what we could do real quick. Um, I stripped down my, my um, cobalt, so I want to put it back together, and I took the 12 to 1 gears out of it and used them for another build because I only had two sets. So, if y'all want to hang out for a minute, I'll do that. I'll put my G&G &G Cobalt back together. If y'all want to hang out. If you guys ain't got nothing going on. Yes, that's right. I'm not going to say that out loud, Matt. But yes, that is exactly right. So, I'll take this too. But this one needs a little bit of work. It's fast and it works. It's just a little janky. Ooh, I just about forgot the propane. Alright, so what I'm going to do, let me take these glasses off, is I've taken out the the um, 12 to 1 gears. So, I actually have, I don't know, I'm not going to go, I haven't figured out what I'm going to, I'm probably going to put 12 to 1 back in it, but for now, I want to use the gun, and my options are to put a fusion in it. 
which is not the fusion is not working very good it's got issues um, I got it used or I actually can use this and just go back AEG with it which I'm not gonna take it today and play with it it's an outdoor gun no big deal no big deal no big deal Actually, going to be getting a T6 very soon. Probably within a week. Probably this week. With a gate Titan in it. It's brand new. Compliments to my buddy Vossberg. I need to send Vossberg a message real quick, y'all. Let me text Vossberg. There. Had to shoot Vosberg a message. Tell him, what's up? What's up? Can y'all see good? Hear good? Taste good? Everybody got the popcorn? I'm about to take my camera in there and show y'all what my wife's doing right now. She's doing nails right now, y'all. Boom. There goes my. Yep, there goes my top camera. Let me fix it. That's going to aggravate me. We'll just reset the connection. Ding, ding, ding. It's trying to ping y'all. Sorry. Okay, so you got a question about 12 on gears. All right, let me see. Question 12 to 1 gears and so on. What's better because I've been hearing people talk about their gear setup and I don't fully understand that. Okay. 12 to 1 gear. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. So the gear set starts at the motor. I'll just give you a quick rundown. And I'm not going to get real deep into this because this is a whole other video actually so I'm just gonna do you a quick one real quick there's your gear set right there of course they sit like this in the gun and this is facing this way then the motor sits here the motor rides on the bevel gear that's one gear then this is another gear and then this gear turns the spur gear the spur gear turns the sector gear the sector gear takes the piston. Here's the piston laying in the gun. I'm going to show you all real quick. This is a quick rundown. And when you hit that trigger, it spins that motor, turns that bevel gear, turns that spur gear, turns the sector gear. The sector gear has a row of teeth on it. It comes around. It catches the piston right here at the pickup tooth. Turns it out. Comes all the way back. Draws it back. Whenever the sector gear is finally done, the teeth are gone, it moves, it releases the piston. The piston goes pow, forward. That's a shot. So that's one cycle. So the gear, 12 to 1, 13 to 1, 16 to 1, 18 to 1, whatever it is, is the ratio between these four gears. And you do math to divide it, the number of teeth, and that gets you your ratio. Well, 12 to 1 is a high speed, low torque build. So you wouldn't need as strong as a motor to turn that low that low torque build, if that makes sense to you. I'm trying to make it where it's easier to understand. So that would be more of an indoor fast gun. Um, save battery juice, um, low friction. It's pretty easy for that motor to turn that little gear set. Uh, anything over 18 to 1 is a high torque it's going to be more like a DMR build like a a heavier spring the spring even comes into play in all this it's a real real complex thing um, one day I will do a video and break it down to where it'll be easy but I want to make sure it's a good video to where it's easy to understand um, 
So the, the weight of the spring puts a load on all these gears, of course, as you draw it back, as the sector gear pulls back. So the tension of the spring varies into it. It's a lot of stuff that varies into this. The speed of the motor. So 12 to 1 is a really, really fast, easy build to do that is good for CQB and a really fast gun. So that's why I use 12 to 1. If I was going to do an outdoor gun and I wanted to put a real heavy spring, I wanted to shoot 450 to whatever feet per second, I would probably put an 18 to 1 or more with a real heavy spring and a high torque motor to try to get, because it's going to take a lot of energy to turn that big gear set. You know what I mean? So, in a quick nutshell, that's gears. Yeah, well, 12 to 1 would be for more like a speed soft set. And um, it makes trigger response faster, um, just the whole nine yards. If you've heard any of my 12 to 1 builds, like my um, Cobalt, I took an outdoor gun and basically did a CQB build in it to see how it would do. And it literally rode. It rode out, and it could shoot all the way to the end of the street. So, But in a quick nutshell, that's how it works. Um, it's pretty simple, so... It's just it, it can get it can get really really in depth um, when you get into like helical gears um, and shimming helical gears and these are what you call straight cut gears. If you look at the teeth on them, the teeth are straight. A helical gear, the teeth are at an angle. I would say about a 15 degree angle. And what the angle does is it makes them quiet. Um, Helical gears are quieter gears. Um, these straight gears are going to be more loud. They're going to be louder gears. Uh, they don't have the backlash, as if you say, I'm going to say. Um, straight gears can sometimes sound like a fire engine going down a road if they're not set properly. That's just how they sound. So, yeah, you can get really in-depth um, with helical gears. And with just AEG, period. So that'll give you an idea why I always use um, HPA. But yeah, I want to do a I want to do a video on the um, the gears, the mechanism, how it works, and everything. I just have to get time. And like I said, I want to do it right. I want to make it where it's really easy to understand, to where even a new player who's never played can can pick it right up and say, Oh yeah, I get it. You know. So, we got you tore down. These are VFC gears. I'm not going to be using them. Got to take out this. This is my car sensor. No, this is actual bolt catch. That's right. This is the car sensor in the front, which won't let it fire unless there's a mag in there, which you can bypass. My wife's here doing nails. Yeah, and it takes time to get it to sound like that, Matt. Um, it takes time and patience because getting a AEG to get quiet, it takes real tedious shimming and um, taking it apart, putting it back together, taking it apart, putting it together several times. You know, it's not always throwing it in there and you're done. It just don't work that way, unfortunately. So... <laughs> I threw everything in here. Look. There's one bearing in there. <laughs> my reversal catch was inside my piston. That is funny. Well, anyways. Yeah, so I want to do a build on here. Actually, I've had a few subscribers ask me to do a, um, a high cap of build. What y'all think about that? You want to do a build for a high cap? I was thinking so. We'll build us a fast high cap. So this is the gear set that I'm going to throw in here today. Everyone. Make sure all his bearings are seated. We're going to keep the trigger the same. Um, so I'm going to need to start with shimming it real quick. 
because I ripped all my shims out. That's a good start. Hey, hey, what is up? He said EMG. Red High Kappa. I'm going to drop some of this in this bearing because uh, these little bearings love that. Watch this. That's my buddy Josh Stewart right there. He's coming up to play with me next weekend. Him and uh, Josh Clifford and old Shane Sko coming from South Florida. I think that's how you say his name. Sko. Sko. So, anyhow, this is my uh, cobalt. I was putting a fusion in it, man, but the fusion is giving me trouble. It does not want to fit in here for some reason. The fusion will not fit. I'm going to know why. I don't get it. <coughs> Did you see my red high kappa that I have, Josh? I got you and Shane and Josh a kappa for next weekend. I got this one. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Josh, I got this high kappa ready to go. It's HPA um, or green gas. I got mags for both. I got this Tokyo Marui kappa. Ready to go. Um, I haven't had any problems with it being too shallow yet. Um, I'm going to have to check it and see. I'm not... I think it's gonna be fine. I actually have the stock gears out of it. The only gear that went that I had to change out was the sector gear and the uh, spur gear. That's the only two that got damaged when it went. But these bearings are awesome, man. I love these ceramic high-speed bearings, Josh. They're gnarly, bro. They wasn't even that much money, but um, they work so good. And I'm running this stock piston because it is so light and it works really, really good. And the stock cylinder, stock cylinder head, everything. It's all G&G &G put all good stuff in this from the get-go. So, I don't know. Um, let me show you. I'm going to show you. Um, so, when I try to put it in, for one, the which I don't use full auto at Battalion anyways, the full auto button is cracked. Um, I got it used, so... That's cracked. For two, there was a spacer. I just had it right here earlier. That whoever owned it had made that took this out and put it under here to raise the front of it up. And whenever I put it in there, it yes, that's what they are. They're modified bearings. That's what they, uh, I actually got them from Alex. But when I put it in there, it wouldn't feed right. It would double, triple, quadruple feed. So, I took it back apart. That's when I found the spacer in here so I took that off everything on it was loose and I put it back in the frame and hold on a second I'll take the frame off and I'll show you what I'm talking about and I don't know if this cobalt frame is the issue or if it's actually the fusion because my really 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 old fusion fits perfect in here let me get this upper off no shit, I'm talking about. Yeah, I got an FCU and everything for it. Um, it's a, it's basically a brand new fusion. It's a, um, and it's one of the newer ones. Uh, I think I just dropped the FCU on the ground. No, it, it's right here. Let me move all this real fast. So I want to show you because I'd way rather use the fusion. So we're gonna put all this to the side. All righty, so. I'm getting this uh, stupid piece of there. All these tech words. All these tech words. Nah, these are just basic words. You'll learn it quick, Matt. Hang in there. You'll learn it quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So let me show you, Josh. So the harness was all janked up. I went and got a new harness. Put a new harness in it. That's nothing to do with it. Let me take the FCU off. So when I stab it in here, oh, for one, the selector, the fire selector. It won't work because I have dual um, ambidextrous fire slayer. What's up, Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is organized, bro. This right here is straight up 
organized. I know where everything is. That's all that matters. So I took that shim out of here, whatever they had, and I did get it leveled out. And I may even need to change the nozzle. I don't know. I was looking at the nozzle length on here because I've always run the red nozzles. I really haven't got into it that deep. I had, a, I thought I had another nozzle. I've always run the red nozzles, and I'm not sure if that may be the issue because if you look at the length of this nozzle compared to what I had, it could just be that. Um, I threw it in there in the fire selector. It wouldn't work because I've never seen a fusion that had an awkward hole like this to where you can't put the fire selector in, the gear and all. Like my other fusion, my other fusion is perfect. I could take it and I could put, I could put it in there. I can install this fusion just fine. That's a good idea, John Bailey. So yeah, so this one has, see how that has a slotted hole and this one has the round hole. Whenever I put in the gear here for the fire selector, it doesn't line up and the gear falls out of place. You can't go from semi to safety or anything. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm into with it. Um, I, I'm just like, wow, I've never seen one like this. I don't know if it was what it was made for or what, but it's not fitting the cobalt kinetics. Also, whenever I put it in here, the actual grip doesn't fit right. I'll show you it leaves a giant gap whenever I put this right here on I slide the grip up on here it has a giant giant gap and it looks so so dumb what's up SLS uh, you going to play today buddy I'm getting ready to go myself that's what I was thinking too Josh I hadn't I kind of stopped whenever I ran into the the fitting issue and I was like well I'll just order another nozzle and see if I can get it to feed better because it did work the angle was off but it did actually try it did shoot BB so I just got to do a little bit of tinkering with it okay cool 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 I'll see you there bro I'm gonna be there um, I'm gonna try to be there around 11 1130 it's 1030 now I'm fixing that to get ready got all my stuff packed up though I'll give y'all a quick tip or a quick uh show you really quick what I got here. So I got my backpack loaded up. Fixing to throw all the pistols in it. And get it ready to go. Take that. Take this right here off. And then I got the Avalon with all the mags. I got the honey badger, the GNG honey badger. Got the ARP9 for Gator. I got all the magazines loaded for all the high cappas and everything. I got the high cappas here. Let's get rid of this upper. It's huge. Got both the masks. Got two spare tanks. Got the gear bag loaded down with the um with the with his plate carriers and my plate carrier. So we're pretty well set. Now I'm gonna flip it back to front cam. and talk to y'all for a few minutes and I'm gonna bounce and go try to wake up Gator. I think I am ready. I hate it whenever you go play though and you like, you wanna take every gun you have, you know? Good thinking. Josh, you're the man. Me and Josh are real tight, y'all. We talk all the time. He's a, he's a tech guy too and he's super smart. He knows about a lot of guns, but yeah, it is kind of long. That's what I was thinking. I was looking at it, and um, I didn't even realize it until. Probably won't use it for an MP5. I probably could trim it, actually. It would not be hard to cut that to length. And you know me. I don't care. I'll cut that joker right on off of there. I'll match it right on up. But I am surprised with G&G. &G. Look at that. That's sweet, man. They did a really good job on this particular one. I mean, y'all you know, know G&G's always got good guns. What you doing today, Josh Stewart? I see you played yesterday. Seen the tattoo. What kind of tattoo is that on your arm? I got a little bit of lag. I'm doing it on my, um... 
All right, that's fine. We'll yeah. we'll convert it back. I could just go buy a nozzle for it, I guess, instead of chopping it. Oh, really? That's funny. My little man, Jaden, he's out at the beach or something right now with my mom. But yeah, they uh, they're gonna go do their thing today, and my wife's in here doing nails right now. So I'm going to go play airsoft, and I'm gonna try to do some um, live footage from the arena if I can get a good Wi-Fi connection. That's what I'm gonna try to do. What did I do with the 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 the, the buffer tube? Hmm. Anyone see a buffer tube laying up here? It's blue goes on here wow I don't know what I did with the buffer tube I know I took it off and laid it right here somewhere oh well we'll find it later oh here it is on the floor that's a good spot for it all right Brandon yeah I'm about to head out too yeah I turned off the top camera because uh, the battery's dying on it so yep, I'm about to go and get some gameplay footage. Got the cobalt stuck back together. And uh, I'm about to go wake up Gator Ow. and go do some gameplay footage for you guys and hopefully we'll get some um, live gameplay footage. That'd be kind of cool. He said you not. Uh, I got you. <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. Bucket of water is what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking too. That's actually a good idea. Mac 11 wake up call. Hey babe, what do you think I should wake up Gator with? Water or Mac 11? Uh, not water because I'd be the one to probably clean it up. Okay, the wife says not water because she'll have to clean it up. So Josh Stewart says Mac 11. Which I was already thinking Mac 11 anyways. Probably need to charge the battery in it. I can get him with it. I can get him with it. I can get him with it. <laughs> He's gonna want to fight. By the way, he he is bigger than me. Let me try something real fast. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to his bedroom with y'all on here. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. My wife will kill me. I'm not gonna do it. All right, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Y'all look out for some notifications coming here in just a little bit in the next hour or so. Oh, the scorpion. I didn't think about that. That's even better. Babe, you think Gator be mad if I wake him up with this? She's having an in-depth nail conversation right now about getting your fingernails done. She ignored me. Baby, think gotta be mad if I woke him up with this scorpion? Uh, Alright guys, I gotta go. Y'all have a good day. Thank you all for watching. Um, won't be long, we'll do the watch hour giveaway because we're getting real close. Peace, y'all.